everybody, my name is Dragon Pups, and welcome to a uh, Minecraft map review that I will hopefully be doing a lot more of, or at least different maps. These maps are just custom made things that uh, people have made, and uh, this one that we're going to be reviewing today is RuneScape from 2007 um, by slash u slash chadgeben. I don't know how to read that. Um, so, yeah, this is RuneScape. If you guys have played it, this is quite a nostalgic blast for you guys. So, first up, we have the Lumbridge Castle. Now, I do have cheats in this world because um, that's how it was. I didn't change it, I didn't make it myself. Uh, I will try to leave a link for the map in the description. So let's get started and uh, we'll, we'll be heading off with Lumbridge. So let's get an over, overhead view. This is the Lumbridge Castle. Um, it's pretty cool. It's not as high detailed or big, I guess, as map maps normally would be, but it's pretty cool because it's supposed to simulate you playing in RuneScape. So this is pretty cool. Uh, you have all this. So we're gonna go into a brief in-depth review. Uh, we're gonna do two towns at a time. Uh, and see how far that will take us into a video. And uh, if you guys like it, I will show you all the towns. Um, so let's head into the Lumbridge Castle. Now they do give you. They do have uh, these command blocks, and um, they do have, uh, I guess, quests that you normally could find in Minecraft or not Minecraft in RuneScape. So here you have like the dining table with the fire going. It's pretty cool. Uh, you have the checkered floor, blue carpet. You have the left entrance, the right entrance, or I guess the doorways. And if you go this way, if you remember, I mean, if you play RuneScape now, you're probably not going to know much uh, from this map because a lot has changed. But if you have membership, you could always uh, go to the old school or something. I don't even know because I don't really play RuneScape that much, but I probably will play it in the summer. So over here we have the kitchen, we have a command block, and uh, what it does is, well, we, we're given a lever and a command block when you start, so let's turn this on, and uh, we'll just break that, and look, we have to cook uh, for the level 3 quest or something, where you have to make a cake to complete the quest. It's pretty cool, um, let me just switch back to my hand, uh, and you go back into the dining room, and remember, if you have played RuneScape, you're going to be remembering this guy who's saying he needs help so let's move on um, I don't want to take too long in everywhere but I want to give a pretty good review of this map and then you go upstairs and you have the outside this is this was a common place for drop trading I do remember that when I played uh, several years ago man that was what eight years ago now for the 2007 runescape uh, here's one of the rooms I don't remember all the details exactly because it's been such a long time since I played this version of runescape I believe in here you can find the prince who will give you the dragon, the dragon breath shield, dragon slayer shield, something like that, uh, that you need to do the dragon slayer quest and kill Elvarg, otherwise you're gonna burn and die. Up here you have the final floor of the Lumbridge Castle, which is the bank. It looks pretty cool. Too bad there's no real bankers and you can't really play RuneScape in this, but that would have been cool. I th I'm not sure how the quests would work. Uh, let me just actually try, it, considering I have command, uh, I can use cheats and whatever. So this is the other side of the castle. Uh, let's head back to the cook real quick. And let me give myself a cake. Because this guy needs a cake. A uh, cake. Here. Take this. Uh, take this. Uh, I can't take it. So I guess the... the I guess um, quests aren't really implemented into this. Oh well. Let me just take, get rid of that. Um, so that's the Lumbered Castle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It looks pretty much like it. Uh, you have the Lumbridge walls. I actually haven't explored these walls. I'm not sure if these walls were available to me when I was playing. I think they might have been. Yeah, they. this was. Um, pretty cool. Let's keep moving. So, it's already been four minutes. Oh, man. Gotta do this quick if I want to do two towns. So, um, this is the church where you can get a ch uh, music jukeboxes, uh, where you can get quests, um, pretty cool, and this is where you can heal your prayer points, uh, for your prayer skills, uh, this is a weapon shop, I think, let me just set the time to zero, so that it's not pitch black soon, I think this is the weapon shop, where you can buy, like, maces and stuff, or is it this one, <coughs> I don't really know, uh, here's the graveyard, now, I do remember in the newer version, that if you go in here, it's like a whole crypt and there's like a whole quest to it. It's like really weak quest, or at least it was weak for me because I was really good at the game because I 
trained a lot and played a lot of this game when I was uh, younger. And I was playing a lot of the 2007 version. Uh, so this is... This is the house where... No. This is where you... This is the common for like willow tree mining. Or is it... I mean cutting. Or is it oak tree? I don't know. This is a good spot for you to train your wood cutting. I remember. Over here. This is the general store I believe. Or is it not? I don't know. Sorry if I'm a little confused. Oh. Wait. What? Wait. What? What is this? This isn't in RuneScape. You can't be fooling me with that. Shadowmere. What does it say? Zuko? Are these like skeleton and zombie horses? That's weird. I don't... That's not in RuneScape, I think. I don't know. So this got to be the general store. Um, oh man. Six minutes. How's this time going by so fast? Uh, this is the sheeps where you do the sheep shearer quest or something like that. And, oh, they, they have a brown carpet here where you can do simulate this uh, the style that you hop over and you cut them. Cut the sheeps. You don't cut the wool, not the sheeps. That's me. Not quite sure what this command block does. I don't think I really tested Get out of here, guys. Oh, wait. I mean, create. Um, they have a chicken spawner here because there's chickens that normally spawn here and you kill them for. Uh, come on. Not now. I'm trying to do something. Uh, let's see. This command block has nothing. So, this is where you get the quest for the sheep shear. Uh, I'm gonna kill the chicken with eggs. Oh, where'd I get? Uh, over here, you have your wheat mill where you can turn things into flour. You need to come here for the cook uh, assistant quest. Let's hop in. So, the, uh, I added these slabs just so that this thing doesn't move. Um, if we climb all the way up, what do you mean successfully found the block? Okay, so this is no. When you climb all the way to the top, this is where you put in your wheat. And then it'll drop down. And we'll go all the way down. Uh, through this whole milling process. And then at the bottom, you collect your flour. Get out of here. I need. I'm gonna do this really quick because I'm starting to run out of time. I wanted to keep this to like a 10 minute video, but I'm. Looks like I won't be able to do two towns. Um. But this is pretty cool how they have all of this. This is the bridge that they have that you cross a little river. And, oh, this is the goblin house. I actually haven't explored this house. Can't, can't get in. Oh, clever. Yeah, I don't think you can enter that house normally. Or maybe you can. Uh, over here, they have these command blocks for the al gar guards. Oh, come on, don't add, change that. See, you have to pay your 10 gold. And I don't know what the iron nugget ingot is for. Um, so there's one here. Ugh, come on. I don't know why that one didn't spawn. And uh, we're going to explore more of Alcadrid in the next episode. So I didn't really expect uh, that it would take this long to review Lumbridge. Um, I guess we'll do Alcadrid in the next video. I was kind of hoping that I was able to do two towns in a video so that you guys aren't bored. But I guess uh, if you guys like the series, you'll want to come back for the other towns. So if you have played RuneScape and you remember all this, please leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think of this uh, creator's version of RuneScape in Minecraft. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, kudos to you, uh, Mr. Chadman or something like that. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name because it's like slash you slash I don't know. But uh, yeah, this was Lumbridge. And uh, if you guys liked it, always let me know in the comments or hit the like button to let me know that you like this uh, map review series where I go through different maps that I find in the, on the internet. And uh, yeah, as always, until next time, see you guys.